Hi everybody and welcome back to Mr. Raymond's Junior Cycle Business Studies YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to show you quickly how to calculate a motor insurance premium. So I have an example here just from a textbook that we use in school and the question says that Joan Carey is 24 years old and has a provisional license. She is a non-drinker and is purchasing insurance for the first time. Her basic premium for her 2000cc Volvo is €3,000. Her loadings are 20% of the basic premium for each of the following. She is under 25, it's her very first time to buy insurance. She only has a provisional license and she's also going to use her car for business. Her deductions are 25% of the basic plus the loadings for being a non-drinker, so they're giving her a little reward for being a non-drinker. This is a good thing for the insurance company because it shows the insurance company that she is never going to drink and drive. Therefore, she is less of a risk of crashing. On the other hand, she has very little uh, driving experience and this is a risk. The fact that she's under 25, it's her first insurance. She only has a provisional license and that she's going to use her car for work these are all risks for the insurance company, so they're going to charge her extra for this while they're going to take a little bit off her premium for being a non-drinker. So let's work through the solution. The very first thing I'm going to write down is that her basic premium is €3,000. So basic premium is €3,000. This is what the insurance company is going to charge her. Okay, so let's add her loadings. So I'm just going to add loadings and we can see in the question that she has four loadings and these are going to be charged at 20% of the basic premium. We know that the basic premium is €3,000. So her first loading, so number one, is that she's under 25 and I'm just going to do the calculation here. So it's going to be €3,000 multiply by 20% and that's going to give us uh, 600 euro so it's going to be 3000 multiply by 0.2 or to give us 600 so it's 600 euro for being under 25 on top of her basic premium number two is the fact that it's her first insurance and again 3000 euro multiply by 20% and again, that gives us 600 euro. Number three, um, she's only on a provisional license. And again, 3,000 euro, basic premium multiplied by 20% given to us in the question. Her fourth loading is the fact that she uses her car for work or for business. So I'm just gonna write down business and Again, it's going to be basic premium by 20% and each of these are costing her 600 euro. Okay, so I'm going to add those up. So uh, 600 euro by 4 equals 2,400. Okay, and this figure is known as our basic uh, plus loadings and that's going to give us uh, 5,400 euro. So her basic premium plus all of the extra charges gives us our basic plus loadings. Uh, following this we're going to take away our deductions so less deductions and she only has one deduction um, so it's going to be one and uh, number one deduction is going to be non-drinker and we see here that her deductions are going to be 25% of the basic premium plus loadings. Basic premium plus loadings is 5,400 multiplied by 25% equals 5400 multiplied by 0.25 equals 1350 and 
again we're going to less the deductions we're going to take them away so it's going to be 5400 minus 1350 equals 4050 and that's going to be her total premium due so sometimes in case of car insurance people can pay this um, as a lump sum in one go or sometimes what they do is that they would spread the payments over 12 months so if we were to do that for example it would be 4050 divided by 12, uh, 12 to give us 337 euro and 50 cent per month but usually in this situation the insurance company would also add a little bit of interest so um, that might come in at around 340 euro per month for Jones Insurance if, they, if she wanted to pay it monthly. If she wanted to pay it as a lump sum, it would work out more expensive at the time, but she wouldn't have to pay the interest over the long run. Okay, so just to remind you, in this video you have learned how to calculate the premium for a motor insurance uh, or a motor vehicle's insurance. Okay. Thanks very much for tuning in. Bye-bye.